Unfortunately, you guys, we have another problem. Hello, 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 my beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Plants, Slots, Books. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you turn on notification bell. That way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts a video. I'm excited right now, but this is not a happy video. Keep watching. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but a while back in my videos, I was telling you guys not to panic too much if you see yellowing leaves because that's just a normal process that plants have. However, you should start to get a little worried if it's starting to become one yellow leaf after the next after the next. And that is what I'm currently dealing with. I have discovered Merely Bugs. Merely Bugs. For those of you who don't know what mealy bugs are, a mealy bug is a small sap sucking scale insect that is coated with a white powdery wax that resembles meal. It forms large colonies and can be a serious pest, especially in greenhouses. When I have watched my videos dealing with pests, most people say once it becomes an infestation, it's just best to get rid of the plant because it's honestly gonna take you forever if it ever happens for you to completely get rid of them or they're just gonna keep coming back. I don't think I have gotten to that stage as of yet. So I'm going to try to fix the problem. If it just continues to be a problem after I continue to work on it, then we'll see what happens. But for right now, I'm just going to treat this plant and see what happens. That is a mealy bug. It has come to a point where these plants have total control over me and I no longer have any control. I do what they say, I do what they want, just watering them whenever they tell me to, buying stuff whenever they tell me to, repotting them whenever they tell me to. This is my life. So we have to go and get some products to tackle that issue because I ran out of all of my pest killer products or whatever you want to call it. I don't have anything else to deal with it. This is normally where I get the neem oil. I don't know. Allocation for my drink. This is cute. Thank you. Have a good one. I did go ahead and get the Captain Jack's neem oil. This is what I normally use. This is good for black spots, powdery mildew, rust, spider mites, aphids, white flies, and other insect pests. And now a brief intermission from your program. Have your sons fetch the whole family something from our snack center. Only five minutes until the movie starts again. This plant, ooh, but I didn't have a cut in there. Ha ha. This was not a part of this video. I accidentally knocked over the plant while trying to come and get the pothos. This happens a lot, unfortunately. This is not my first rodeo. Let's clean this up and then continue on with the agenda. No, brought out the nets and everything. This plant is tired of me, I just know it. I'm sorry. You have to wait all together. Ooh. This may take one, two, three attempts. You may never know. It may work on the first try. If it does, then that is great. First thing I'm going to be doing to treat these mealy bugs is drowning it with water. So I'm going to turn my shower on. That's why I'm in the bathroom because I do want that pressure so it could swipe away everything that's on the leaves. Make sure that the leaves are fully saturated and that water is just washing away everything. After I do that, I'm going to go in with the cap. Captain Jack's neem oil and I'm going to spray the leaves really really well. I'm going to get the soil as well and I'm going to allow this to sit on the plant for about 10 minutes. Give it maybe a week or so and see if things come back. If I see it come back of course I am going to either repeat this step or try something that may be a little bit more more extreme I guess. Neem oil. Leave that there to sit for about 10 minutes. My decursifer. 
dragon's tail, whatever you would like to call it. I'm going to wipe down the leaves because they are kind of dirty. And then I am going to give her a water because she definitely needs to be watered. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Take my napkin, get a couple, fold it up. And then I will spray this down with the neem oil, like so. You want to make sure you're getting the front and the back side of the leaf. No fertilizer, just water. Regular old water. We are going to finish up with this jade pothos and then move on to the next plant chore. When I dropped my Monstera Deliciosa, this fell off of it. However, there are two nodes, so I am going to water propagate this. The next thing we are going to be talking about is my Hoya Flash. This baby hasn't done anything for me since having her, and I've had her for a couple of months now. It's probably because of this soil. So what I'm gonna do is take this out, see what the roots are looking like first of all. And if the roots are good enough to stay in here, I'm just going to switch the soil because I have I have extra of the anthurium mix that I made in a previous video. So I'm just going to use that depending on what's going on here. I have to do a voiceover for this part because my sound is not working properly. I don't know what's going on. But here I was telling you guys that, well, the reason why my Hoya wasn't growing or doing anything for me is because the roots were literally dying. They were very, very dry. There are barely any roots there. So what we are going to do is try to propagate her. We're going to try to grow the roots before we put it in any type of soil mixture. So I'm going to pour some pearl right in here. Hopefully it will begin to produce some healthier, longer roots. that much water if you guys can see it's about right there you do want to do your best to keep the perlite moist you do not want to allow it to dry out hopefully she will start to produce some roots they are going to leave her alone and let her be. do you guys remember a while back me attempting to do the avocado tree everybody was doing on TikTok? so i've had this for quite some time and it's been in the water for a while and i've honestly just been being lazy so today is going to be the day where we say screw it and we are going to finally put her in some soil before her roots just die because oh they dry i don't even know <laughs> okay so she does have a lot of roots but as you can see up there they very they are very brown and dry So we are going to plant her and just hope for the best. I'm going to be putting her into this container right here. She does have two beautiful long leaves.
really have to figure out what's going on with my sound. It keeps going out on certain clips, but here I was telling you guys, when you are potting up your avocado tree, if you are doing so, make sure you don't bury the pit underneath the soil. So you wanna keep the pit above the soil. see her roots through there this is why i love the clear containers because i'll easily be able to see what is going on i am going to plop this baby into some water so i'm going to add just a little bit about that much and there she is i'll keep you updated on her growth